Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my channel. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. Please consider subscribing, like and share my videos and follow me on social media. I will leave all the links in the description box below. So today I have another yummy Oktoberfest uh, video for you. We are gonna be making Oktoberfest beer cheese soup. It is the perfect time of year for all those delicious comfort foods and nothing says comfort quite like cheese, right? So we're gonna jazz up our soup a little bit and use some delicious beer in our soup. I am going to, you can use any beer that you prefer. I'm going to be using uh, Sam Adams Oktoberfest, but you can use whatever you enjoy drinking. It's totally fine. Light beer, dark beer, whatever it is that you enjoy. I'm just kind of sticking with the whole Oktoberfest theme and I'm going to go with the Sam Adams Oktoberfest, but any of it would be absolutely delicious. This soup is really creamy and dreamy and just really yummy, super comforting, and it's really easy to make. Now the star of our soup, of course, is cheese aside from the beer is cheese so there are a lot of different schools of thought on beer cheese soup some people use just straight up sharp cheddar some people use different varieties of cheddar I'm gonna jazz mine up just a little bit with a carol twist and I'm gonna be using some smoked gouda I'm gonna use about a half a cup of smoked gouda about a half a cup of smoked cheddar and then I'm going to be using some sharp cheddar cheese so I have about three different kinds of cheese going on but any type of good melty cheese would be delicious here so you choose whatever you like I would try to make at least part of your cheese cheddar cheddar just pairs really well uh, with the beer so um, and that flavor profile so that's my recommendation but you do you do whatever works for you and we're going to be topping our delicious soup with some croutons that I'm going to show you how to make from the herbed cheddar beer bread that I made in my last video so we're going to take some of that we're going to turn that into croutons and that's what we're going to use to top our soup now you can top your soup with lots of things extra cheese of course pretzels you could use soft pretzels for dipping um, onions whatever you like the sky's the limit but I thought the beer cheese bread croutons would be fantastic here so so stay tuned because at the end I'm going to show you how to turn your cheddar herb beer bread into delicious croutons so come on close and we're gonna get started okay so we are going to start our soup by crisping up eight slices of thick cut bacon. So I just gave mine a nice chop and I'm just gonna crisp it up and then I'm going to remove it from the pan and I'm going to leave in two tablespoons of the bacon fat. Okay, so now I my bacon is all crisped up. I removed my bacon, left in two tablespoons of the uh, bacon grease and now we're going to add four tablespoons of butter. And then we're going to add some veggies. I have a half a cup of red, finely chopped red bell pepper, one cup of finely chopped carrot, one cup of finely chopped onion, and one cup of finely chopped celery. So we wanna saute our veggies over medium heat. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt just to let them sweat it out, help them sweat it out. And we're gonna saute our veggies until our onions are translucent and the carrots and celery are nice and soft. Okay, once your veggies are nice and soft, then we're going to add a half a cup of flour. Stir that in, we wanna cook that for 30 seconds to a minute. We wanna get rid of the raw flour flavor. And again, we're staying on just a medium heat. After about 30 seconds, we're gonna go ahead and pour in our beer. We want 12 ounces of beer. And again, we're gonna let that cook for about 30 seconds or so. Uh, you want your beer at room temperature if possible. Then to that, we are gonna add a quart of chicken stock. And then a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer and we're going to let it simmer until it gets nice and thick. Now, once you've added your cream, you do not wanna let this come to a hard boil or it could cause your cream to separate. So it's really important that you just bring it up to just a simmer and let it simmer gently. Okay, it's starting to come up to a simmer here. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of thyme. I'm using dried thyme, you could use fresh if you prefer. 
And then I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of garlic powder. You could use fresh garlic when you're sauteing your veggies if you prefer. Um, I just decided I wanted to use some garlic powder instead. We're gonna give that a stir. And again, we're gonna bring that up to a gentle simmer and we're gonna let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Okay, once your soup has simmered nice and gently, you can see I have a very gentle simmer going here. I want you to go ahead and taste it for salt or any other seasonings that you might wanna add. I am also at this point going to add a tea, about a teaspoon or two of some Dijon mustard. It's my homemade home canned Dijon mustard. If you haven't tried that, I highly encourage you to give it a try. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of seasoned salt. Be careful with salt here because you're, we're gonna be adding cheese and cheese does have some saltiness to it. So I'm only gonna add about a teaspoon of that. And then we're gonna add a couple of table, a couple of dashes rather of Worcestershire sauce. So just a couple of dashes to that, just to add some depth of flavor. And then we're going to add our yummy cheeses. Now I used, like I said, I've used a, um, a half a cup of smoked Gouda. I've used a half a cup of white sharp cheddar, a half a cup of smoked cheddar, and then I have about a cup of extra sharp yellow cheddar cheese. And once you get all of your cheese in there, now the other option that you have here too is if you want a really creamy soup, before adding the cheese, um, you can, Put your soup in a blender and blend up all your veggies or you can use an immersion blender to blend up everything to make it nice and smooth and creamy. I tend to like the little bit of texture that my veggies give the soup as well as the color. So I did not do that, but certainly pureeing your soup is an option here. So now that we've added our cheese, I'm gonna bring it back up to a gentle, very, very gentle simmer, and we're gonna let it simmer for about another 10 minutes just until everything is nice and incorporated, all your cheese is melted, and it's smooth and creamy. Oh my goodness, you guys, does that look comforting or what? Like I said, you could, um, blend it in your blender or use an immersion blender to make it nice and creamy, but I think the flex of the very small sauteed veggies look just beautiful in there. And so now we're gonna finish it off. I'm gonna finish it with a little sprinkle of some smoked paprika. It's gonna make it pretty. It's gonna make it pretty and also add a little more smoky flavor to our soup. Isn't that pretty? We're gonna add some more cheese, of course. How about some bacon? Yum, right? And then of course, our delicious croutons. Perfection. Okay guys, does that not just look super yummy, creamy, dreamy, comforting, just delicious comfort food, right? Now, to make your croutons, all I did was take part, like a half a loaf of my ch uh, cheddar herb beer bread, and I sliced it into one inch slices, cut the slices into one inch cubes, then I placed the cubes on a baking sheet, and I sprinkled them or drizzled them with good quality olive oil, tossed them, and then I baked them in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 25 minutes. It takes 20 to 30 minutes for them to get nice and golden brown. So this is what you want them to look like. You want them to be nice and golden brown all the way around and nice and crunchy. Super easy to do and really delicious, a great way to use up your beer bread. Now a word on making them, make sure you are using uh, stale beer bread, you want it to sit for a couple of days before you make croutons to dry out a little bit. It just makes it a little bit easier than using fresh. So there's that. Then a couple of tips for your cheese. Number one, do not use pre-shredded cheese from the grocery store. You wanna use blocks of cheese that you're shredding yourself. Obviously the higher quality cheese you use, the better your soup is going to taste. The other tip I have, if you want more beer flavor, I think this is just perfect for me, um, but if you want more beer flavor what I would do is after you've let it simmer the first time you want to increase your flour to three quarters of a cup of flour instead of the half a cup and then once it's simmered the first time you've tasted it blitzed it if you want to make it creamy then I would add a, another bottle of beer if you want extra flavor and then just simmer it for another five or ten minutes so that's my tip for that I appreciate you guys coming along with me today. If you have any comments or questions, leave them for me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.